let's jump straight into the brand new e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. I am very excited about this powder foundation because it's drugstore first of all, it's e.l.f. I absolutely love e.l.f. And I'm just really excited to see how this is going to look on dry skin because I do have dry skin for reference. And powder foundations tend to not look too good on us because it does, you know, accentuate dryness and just kind of cling on to those dry areas. Um, it might be great for oily skin, but we're gonna see if it's like a really nice creamy powder foundation or super drying one. And let's just dive straight into everything on this powder foundation. So the shade range was a little off for me. There is 30 shades in this collection and it also retails for 11 pounds and $11 if you are in the US. And the shade I did get is Fair 140W. And this one is described for fair skin tones with a warm undertone. The shade range for me, I'm just gonna open it up. This is what it looks like. Um, but yeah, the shade of range for me wasn't good at all because if you are fair, I can't speak on, you know, if you are of a deeper skin tone, but uh, for the fair skin tones, it was very pink or very yellow. And then the neutral was too light and then too dark. Um, there just wasn't really like a great, you know, it was it was very dramatic, if that makes sense. Like it was either very yellow, it was either very pink or very dark or very light. There wasn't really like a, a really nice in between. This is what it looks like. And you know, just really standard kind of just packaging right here. And let's go ahead and look at the shade. Okay. <laughs> so, as I said, this is very, very yellow. It does have the e.l.f. camo kind of embossed into it. We'll say it looks like a really nice, smooth, creamy powder, but we will see. So let's go ahead and read some of the claims. So this foundation does say it is buildable coverage. It blurs the skin. It gives a blurred finish. It's talc free, which is great. And also it gives a airbrushed even complexion. It's also smoothing with a matte finish. So that sounds good, sounds promising. It also does come with a sponge. So what I'm going to do is one side with the sponge and then one side with a nice brush. And the brush I'm going to be using is the Morphe E2. And first of all, let's swatch it. Ooh, pigmentation. Okay, very creamy, very, very creamy and very pigmented, I must say. Gonna go into the brush. And I guess, oh, there's so much fallout. Buff this over the skin. Ooh. So you see this redness right here? Let's see if we can cover that. This is pigmented. I kid you not, this is really nice. The only thing is, look at this. Look at that fallout. I, yeah, using using a brush, it gives you a beautiful like airbrushed finish, but there's so much like powdery fallout. But look how smooth and airbrushed this looks. This is the before and this is the after with absolutely no concealer, no nothing. I feel like my skin looks incredibly smooth. I think the shade is perfect. Now that I look at, look at it in the monitor and also in the mirror, I feel like it just blends really nicely into my chest and my neck. And like I said, it looks so smooth. Oh my gosh. And it really did cancel out that redness as well. So maybe getting the yellow shade was a, the yellow undertone one was a great choice because it kind of cancels out that redness as well and just gives you a really nice even uh, complexion, which is what they say anyway. So it definitely looks really nice and airbrushed with a brush, really nice and smooth. It does not look drying and it does not look like overly matte and cakey or anything like that. It's a very thin powder. Let me know what you guys think, but I still feel like it looks skin-like, skin like a natural looking for a powder foundation. Wow, there's a big difference. There's, there's really, truly a big difference. So let's go into the sponge side. Now I am going to be taking the sponge that it comes with. It's pretty much just like a standard latex sponge. There's a lot of fallout from the brush and I'm just gonna be taking this now 
This would be great if you have oily skin, if you want to touch up throughout the day, just keep those oils in place, take away some shine. And then also if you do want to add a little bit of coverage as well, if your makeup does come off throughout the day, especially if you wear a mask and it comes off in the nose area, which is what happens to me all the time, this would be a great one to just kind of throw in your purse and then just touch it out with. That's what I usually do with the MAC Studio Fix Powder. So I'm excited to see how this is going to be with the sponge. It looks really nice and creamy. It doesn't look drying again. So let's go ahead and see. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. I'm actually glad as well that I went with this shade. I also want you guys to comment down below if you prefer the sponge side or the brush side. But I will give you guys my thoughts in a second. But so far, this is insane coverage. And it says buildable. I honestly would not build this foundation. And especially if you're using it by itself, I think this is enough coverage. Even if you put it on top of a foundation, I think it's going to give a beautiful, smooth finish on top of foundation as well. Like it's going to set your liquid foundation in place whilst giving off more coverage, um, making it look nice and smooth. So, so I will have to say that this is probably one of the best powder foundations that I've tried from the drugstore because I haven't tried many. I've tried the L'Oreal one, wasn't a big fan. This one I would happily use by itself and also on top of a liquid foundation and especially on top of like a BB cream as well. That would be great to use in summer, like use a light BB cream. But if you do want a little bit more coverage, just dust this powder foundation with a nice big brush over it as well, just to give more coverage rather than using like a heavy foundation in the summer. Um, and I will say as well that the claims are spot on. The claims are spot on. It's smooth looking. It's definitely matte. You can build it, although I will say it's quite full coverage, first of all, um, it is quite full coverage. And then also they do say as well that it evens the skin tone and I feel like it definitely has. I feel like my skin just looks really nice all over. So I'm going to finish off the rest of my makeup and I will give you guys my final thoughts on at the end and then also let you know how it wore with uh, other makeup products on top of it. So my final thoughts. I absolutely love this powder foundation. Now, I saw a lot of videos and people didn't like this powder foundation. Um, I didn't look too much into why no one really liked it, but honestly, I really like it. And the reason why is because the first thing is it doesn't make my skin look dry. It's a very silky, creamy uh, powder foundation. And I feel like it just glides on the skin really nicely. I mean, look how flawless my skin looks right? I think the shade match is good as well. I actually do like the shade. Thank God it wasn't too light or too yellow. Um, and then also like this is without a liquid foundation and powder on top. It's literally just a light powder giving me this coverage and this finish. So I am very impressed. I'm very impressed. I will say with this powder foundation looking at it, I don't really have a preference whether I like it with a sponge or a brush, but if I had to pick, like the way I would actually use it on a day-to-day -day basis is with a uh, brush. Because I feel like with the sponge, sometimes it can look a little heavy if you keep on wiping it, you know, on top of your skin with a sponge and going back in. Um, but with a brush, you can just diffuse it and it gives the coverage, but also giving, giving you a airbrushed finish, if that makes sense. Whereas with the sponge, it wouldn't give you like that airbrushed airbrushed finish because you're not dusting it over you're kind of just packing it on so I do feel like a brush is better but honestly looking at it side by side there isn't too much difference in terms of the coverage and you know the way it looks so let me know all your final thoughts down below and let me know what you guys think but yeah I definitely recommend it give it a go if you can find your shade you know it's um 11 pounds you can't go wrong with like a really nice buildable smoothing powder foundation you know, stay tuned. I do have a whole video testing new drugstore makeup coming as well. And yeah, I'm going to let you guys go now. I hope you're all staying safe. And until next time, I'll speak to you guys all in my next video.